Move it off. We still have the wheel seal under attached to the brake line. We wanted to keep as much fluid in there as possible, so we're going to show some practice runs with how to make flared brake lines. And one important step, do not forget this. You don't want to disconnect your air or your brake line um, until you verify that everything fits. You want to make sure that the brackets that you have mount with all the bolts and everything inside of them. Okay, if you're doing a conversion, you don't want to miss any steps, especially if this is your daily driver or if this is your only transportation. I mean, you're kind of crazy if you're going to do it that way anyway, which is definitely me. So this has to be critically done the first time correctly. Okay, so we're starting there. We can see that all the bolt holes match up with the mounting plate. That's great. The collar on the back side of the hub. It matches pretty closely to um, the adapter plate. In fact, it's perfect. It's a machine surface, so it better be perfect. So we don't really care about the bolts anymore right now because we know they fit. Next thing that we want to make sure of is that the caliper and the rotor fit without any issues. So uh, let's go ahead and get a video of everything matching before we get to mounting. Okay, we're still rolling. Oh, and that's a side project right there. That's going to go on after the supercharger goes on. Or maybe I'll just put it on my uh, donor car after I get that fixed up and running again. And I can't really see the front of the camera, but I'm just going to trust it that we are on the hub now because that looks pretty good. Testing, testing. Yeah, so that is good enough. So the next thing that we're going to do is take our rotor. Rotor mounts up all nice. Everything's flush there. So through this last step, we're just going to zip down a couple of these really fast. And some of you are going to notice that I am indeed using the old bolts. I probably shouldn't. I should use the new ones. In fact, I'm going to do exactly that. I'm going to use the new ones. So, these new ones have a lock washer that I bought for them, so, or a lock nut. I don't want to use the lock nuts more than once, just because, just because. Oy vey, for crying out loud, it's not that hard to put a bolt in there. You'll notice mine are a little longer. I did it that way on purpose, because for one, we have the adapter bracket, and we need to be able to get a bolt on there to bite it. So we're just going to reuse an old nut one more time. Boy. And looks like it is a 15, so I'm going to grab a 15 millimeter socket. And that's the one. Perfect. Again, it's fitment. We need to make sure everything is just right. Because if it's not, you're going to have problems. Okay? So, forgive me guys, I'm trying to do a bunch of things all at one time. It would help if the ratchet was going the right way, right? Maybe if I had a longer socket too. Okay. One and snug. That's probably just going to be fine for what we're doing right now. Because the rest of these, there's one more in there that's seized up a little bit. Okay. So. Here we go with the caliper. Caliper. 
and rotor. So remember which way the caliper bolts go. It's pretty obvious that they go in on this side here. Now a lot of people are, are going to ask why am I doing this pre-mount? Just bolt it up and go. The immediate answer is I need to know right now that this works before I mount it to the vehicle. Because if this doesn't work, um, then what's the point of mounting it? I was cleaning my air filter, so I left all my other tools somewhere else. Not that anybody cares. Just get this zip down. So far, it looks pretty good. Maybe if we can find it. There it is. Now, why is this all weird? So this is why we measure, because it looks like this bracket is off just a little bit. Yeah, I think this bracket's just a little, just a little wrong. We're going to try to make it work anyway. I don't think it's going to be a critical problem per se. Now we got some shavings. That's not a good thing. We are off just a tiny bit. Sean? Just FYI. Check your specs. So I think what we're going to do to salvage this, we're going to zip this one off, get the other one mounted. And then jimmy it just a little bit. Because we can still make this work, I think. And if not, well, we'll just put all of our drum brake stuff back on. This one we're just going to put on manually. Shame on me for getting my bolts mixed up. It is. It's just a little off. God damn it. I don't like it. Okay. So holding it down makes sure that it goes in straight up and down. Okay, no more stripping shit. And then we'll finish this one, should be rough. A little tiny bit. Okay. Okay, flush. Ooh, that is 
a very, very, very close. In fact, that's too close. Hear that, guys? The caliper we're rubbing up on the top there, that's expected, to be honest. But the issue I have with this um, neon rotor is the mounting bolts for the caliper. And that's actually very easily fixable. What we're gonna do is space them out with some washers. But look really close, hang on. I'm just gonna take down my camera here. <laughs> 